In this video, I'm going to be modeling for you the strategy we use for rounding, and today we're going to focus on the nearest 10. So we're really going to be looking at the tens place in each number. And here I've written down the steps of what we focus on when we are rounding. We're not just teaching them a rule of when it ends in five or more round up and if it's less than five round down. That is something that your child's going to have the rest of their life to know about. This is where that rule comes from. So seeing this on the number line is where that rule will come from and what they will be using, but this is showing them where it all started from. So we start with our benchmarks, which is the two tens that they that the number is in between, and then the midpoint is that middle spot in between the benchmarks. And you'll notice something over and over again when we're rounding to the nearest 10. The midpoint is going to end in 5 every time because our range is 10 and 5 is right in the middle. So let's get started and I'll show you some examples. So here we have the number 46 and I'm rounding it to the nearest 10 so I want to think about what tens is, is it is between. Well I know it's in the 40s that's my starting benchmark so I'm gonna put 40 and then the 10 after that is 50 and if I'm not so sure about that I can just quickly do a quick counting by tens in my head 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So right there. Okay, so those are my benchmarks. Now I need to find that midpoint. Like I said, you'll start noticing over and over again the midpoint for the tens benchmarks is ends in five. But if you're not quite sure and until you've figured that out, just do a quick 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. We can do that because we're only using a small portion of the number line. If we had to use a lot of the number line, that wouldn't be an efficient strategy. But here it is, and until we figured out that pattern, we'll do that. So right in the middle is 45 here. Okay, so that's my midpoint, the middle point. That's how I try to remember it. So now I need to think 46. 46 is right here. I like to put a star, or I could write the actual number there. And now I need to remember, if the number is after the midpoint, here's my midpoint, it's after, I'm going to round up to the next 10. If the number is before the midpoint, I round to the previous 10. And that's what's going to happen here. So here, let me show you in another example. I'm going to draw the part of the number line that I'm going to use, so I'm rounding to the nearest 10. For this one, I'm in the 90s, so that's my starting benchmark, and after 90 is 100. Remember, 100 is a group of 10, and now 95 is my midpoint, and 91 is right here, so I'm going to round down to 90. So 91 is about 90, 46 is about 50, rounding for estimation. All right, let me do a couple more two-digit examples, and then I'm going to show you three-digit. You do the exact same thing when numbers are three digits. So here's 75. Well, I need my benchmark, so it's in the 70s, and the next benchmark is 80. My midpoint is 75, and oh, my number is the midpoint. So this is where another thing we got to remember is, if your number is the midpoint, you're going to round up. Here, you can't choose because some people would then round down and some people would then round up. So there has to be a common rule that everyone follows, and that is if the number is the midpoint, you round up. If it's after the midpoint, you round up. If it's before the midpoint, you round down. Let me do a few examples of when a number is greater than a two-digit number. So here we have 712. Here I'm focusing on my tens and my ones. Okay, so I'm in the 700s, but I'm really focusing here. So 12 is a benchmark of 10, so it's just 710. And then the next one, if it was just 12, the next one would be 20, so this benchmark is 720. And the same rules apply with the midpoint. It's The midpoint would be 15 if it would just be 10 to 20, so here it's 715. And now my number is right here, 712 is about right there. I'm before the midpoint, so I'm going to round to 712. Another example right here, I'm in the 70s, so it's 970 and 980. My midpoint is 975. My number is right here after the midpoint, so I'm going to round to 980. It's about 980. 
And my last example, it's in the 50s, so my benchmark is 450 and 460. Midpoint is 455. Oh, my number is the midpoint, so I got to remember that if I am the midpoint, I round up. Midpoint or greater, I round up. So this number would round to 460. So here's lots of examples of two digit and three digit numbers where we're rounding to the nearest 10. And you want to think about your benchmarks first, then your midpoint. And then think about where your number is in relationship to that midpoint. Is it before, after, or right on it? So use this when you are rounding to the nearest 10 on the number line.